Hey everyone, this is Linnea Lucan from the Heartland Institute, here with another climate fact check. In this video, I'm covering the claim that climate change is responsible for low water levels in Lake Mead and Lake Tahoe, two important bodies of fresh water for the arid American West. Lake Tahoe is located in the Sierra Nevada mountain range bordering Nevada and California, and Lake Mead is a man-made reservoir created by the Hoover Dam in Nevada and Arizona. They both provide vital fresh water to the surrounding areas. So people are reasonably alarmed when these bodies of water get low. Activists have claimed both of these lakes are victims of climate change. However, no hard evidence supports these claims. Lake Tahoe had a significant drop in water levels in 2015 through 2016. The media and activists said the decline represented a new normal because of drought caused by climate change. Yet, 2017 through 2019, Lake Tahoe reached and surpassed the maximum allowable water level, forcing dam operators to perform special water releases so that the lake didn't overflow. Water levels dropped once again during short-term drought in 2022, but bounced right back up again in 2023. This is driven by the historic cycle of drought and deluge that California is susceptible to. Water levels in Lake Mead rose from 1965 to record high levels in 1983, and for all but two years from 1973 to 2002, water levels were above average, which is the longest stretch on record. Keep in mind, those impressive water levels existed until very recently, despite modestly warming temperatures. After 2002, though, Lake Mead levels dropped, in small part because of a modest decline in regional precipitation, even though precipitation nationally is slightly increasing. But precipitation doesn't tell the whole story. The most important factor in Lake Mead's declining water levels is an increased demand for water. There has been substantial population growth in the southwestern United States in recent decades, and water use has also grown. A 2023 peer-reviewed study found that water diversions from the Colorado River that feeds Lake Mead have increased by 10% in the past 40 years. The increase in water diversions is significantly greater than the very modest decline in regional precipitation and natural water intake. 